Hi, I'm Joe Dante. This is Trailers from Hell. Today's trailer puts you in the picture. It's the trailer for William Castle's classic The Tingler, uh, the audience participation gimmick movie that uh, really set the standard for all the others, including his own. Here it is. I'm William Castle, and I feel obligated to warn you about the next attraction you will see at this theater. The picture is The Tingler, which I directed. And for the first time in motion picture history, members of the audience, including you, will actually play a part in the picture. Here's Bill Castle doing his usual Alfred Hitchcock impression. After his success with the Emerjo gimmick in House on Haunted Hill, which was a flying skeleton that kids threw candy boxes at, Bill Castle reunited with Vincent Price for his greatest audience participation gimmick, Percepto. The idea here was that a number of seats in each theater were wired to small electric motors, which then would go off at given moments in total darkness as the tingler gets loose in the theater, supposedly, abetted by shills who are planted in the audience to scream. Now, the fact that Castle could actually get the theater owners to comply with this scheme is pretty astonishing because I have seen the showman's manual that was sent out and the instructions for installing these motors and operating them from the booth are very complicated. And in fact, when I did a movie called Matinee, which was based loosely on the idea of William Castle, we did a lot of research into this because we needed scenes where our character, John Goodman, has to be installing these things. And we actually got it pretty close to accurate. But still, the chutzpah involved in being able to think that he could actually get the studio to go along with this idea is pretty astonishing. In what is surely one of the most preposterous plots ever conceived, Vincent Price discovers that fear causes a lobster-like creature that looks like something from Naked Lunch to grow in your vertebrae and kill you unless you scream. So deaf-mute Judith Evelyn can't scream, and so when she dies, Price operates and the tingler is loose. She dies from seeing red blood in her black and white bathroom, which is a pretty cool scene. Price excels at making ridiculous dialogue seem natural, and his, he's really at his most relaxed here. In fact, having met him, I'd say that this performance is as close to his real personality as any. He takes the first on-screen LSD trip. Unfortunately, Castle is no Roger Corman, and it's kind of silly. But scripter Rob White supplies more of the catty, misogynist dialogue that he gave us in House on Hunted Hill. And the whole thing is so much fun that I couldn't help but make a movie about it.